The topic is family life and relationships, and we're fortunate again to have with us uh, Dr. Thelma Hunter. Uh, to talk about uh, some aspects of family life and relationships, as well as the extension program at uh, Tennessee State University. And of course, uh, uh, Dr. Sanders uh, Hunter, what we'd like to do uh, now is to uh, give you an opportunity perhaps to uh, sort of bring to a conclusion some of the information dealing with grandparents mm -hmm. and to uh, look at some of the other programs that you're involved in at Tennessee State University and some of the activities that uh, our, our audience is probably interested in this morning. Let's do this that for the second. Most certainly. Mm -hmm. We mentioned earlier that we do carry our programs to the community. Mm -hmm. So basically this is our mission. Mm -hmm. We seek to help to educate and inform individuals, mm -hmm. limited resource individuals mm -hmm. and families in both the rural and urban areas. Mm -hmm. And we work with other agencies and organizations as mm -hmm. well as small farmers. Mm -hmm. But with regards to the grandparenting program, mm -hmm. as I mentioned, we do take the university into the communities. Mm -hmm. So we will respond to individuals who have a need and would mm -hmm. like to receive information and or training. Mm -hmm. And we're also looking for volunteers yeah. mm -hmm. to help us to conduct our programs because we do have a limited staff and we will train volunteers mm -hmm. so that grandparents and other relative caregivers can become apprised to mm -hmm. what they can do, what they need to know mm -hmm. with regards to the responsibilities uh, that they have assumed. Is this a large element of the population that we talk about? When you talk about grandparents who are raising grandchildren, et cetera, uh, sometimes you get the impression that it might not be that many. How, how widespread is this uh, activity? Uh, it has been reported, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, that mm -hmm. there are approximately 4 million individuals who are involved Mm -hmm. in raising their grandchildren. So this is not a small operation? No, uh -huh. no it's very wide scale. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the urban areas in the Tennessee uh, area would be Shelby County with the largest population, mm -hmm. uh, Davidson County, then uh, Hamilton and Knox counties certainly have a large population of grandparents who are taking care of their grandchildren. So uh, before we leave this mm -hmm. morning, though, I will be happy mm -hmm. to give my telephone number mm -hmm. to you so that if individuals have a need or mm -hmm. want uh, my services, I will be happy to respond to their requests. Mm -hmm. uh, the other aspect of uh, what I am doing with regards to my responsibilities, I'm focusing on nutrition and consumer education, mm -hmm. and I mentioned we have recently uh, received funding for this particular program. Mm -hmm. And within the African American population, there are certain uh, risk factor yeah. diseases mm -hmm. that are very prevalent mm -hmm. among the uh, population. Mm -hmm. So we seek to work with limited resource families and individuals so that they can become aware mm -hmm. of what they need to do with regards to changing their lifestyles and their behavior. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be located in three counties, three urban counties, Shelby County, mm -hmm. Davidson County, and Hamilton County, where we have already set up staff here in Davidson County, mm -hmm. but to work with the community uh, in the uh, low-rent uh, housing mm -hmm. areas, mm -hmm. uh, to work with families and individuals where they can change their uh, eating Mm -hmm. patterns and eating habits yeah. to reduce mm -hmm. their intake of high fat food, mm -hmm. you know, high sodium foods mm -hmm. and uh, sweets and sugars mm -hmm. and to concentrate more on more wholesome mm -hmm. intake of uh, foods. Now what are some of the diseases that you generally talk about that you can associate with uh, nutrition and et cetera? Well, there's obesity, mm -hmm. uh, diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension, mm -hmm. and heart cardiovascular uh, diseases mm -hmm. that individuals are suffering from. And the reason being is that uh, many people choose to eat what is culturally mm -hmm. familiar mm -hmm. to them rather than to eat what is more vital to them with mm -hmm. regard to sustaining a healthy lifestyle. And many people do not get enough physical activities. Mm -hmm. We are seeing an increase of young people mm -hmm. who are overweight. And mm -hmm. these young people are also suffering from juvenile 
uh, diabetes, Be mm -hmm. as well as o obesity. That, I understand that's a real problem, juvenile diabetes among these young. To speak to that uh, from your uh, nutritional point of view. Well, from our point of view, we do not give a prescription as far as medicine is concerned, but what we do, we encourage the intake of more fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and mm -hmm. the grains rather than to concentrate more on fast food, and I refuse mm -hmm. to say junk food, mm -hmm. but to uh, reduce intake mm -hmm. of the fast food, uh, chips, candy, mm -hmm. sodas, and mm -hmm. what have you. And we're seeing that schools are also stocking uh, vending machines that consist of mm -hmm. chips, candy, soda. Mm -hmm. So the message that we would like to convey to the schools is that they perhaps stock their machines with water, mm -hmm. juices, mm -hmm. uh, dried fruits, something that will be better rather than the mm -hmm. high-fat snacks that they mm -hmm. uh, offer the students. And to encourage the young people because of um, the decrease in different programs mm -hmm. in the schools, physical education is on a decline. Mm -hmm. And many young people, they don't exercise in school. They come home, many of them are couch potatoes. They mm -hmm. don't get uh, a lot of exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, when they are at home, many watch television many hours during mm -hmm. the day rather than to engage in more physical mm -hmm. activities that will help them, you know, to mm -hmm. really control their, their weight. Now, I understand this is really a national problem. I mean, uh, it, that these young people are uh, impacted by this disease at, at an age that it has never occurred before, and it has long-range implications for the health of the nation, period. Is that what we're saying? It is. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I can really appreciate coming mm -hmm. from the U.S. Department of Agriculture is that the Undersecretary is quite concerned about mm -hmm. the increase of the young people who are suffering from obesity mm -hmm. and from juvenile diabetes mm -hmm. as well. And so what we aim to do mm -hmm. is to convey the educational information to help families and individuals to change their patterns. Mm -hmm. And so the extension program, uh, as we make preparations, uh, Dr. Hunter, for this uh, second commercial break, we can say the extension program at Tennessee State University is still reaching out across the state of Tennessee, attempting to try to deal with some of the major issues uh, that we have to face. And some of the issues that some of us are not, are not even aware of uh, for example, this grandparent uh, program, uh, I think many of us probably have saw uh, grandparents from a different perspective uh, than the one that you're bringing us today. And of course, we're uh, uh, getting ready for our second commercial break, after which we'll come back and we'll give you an opportunity to sort of round this off. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Dr. Thelma Hunter, 